We're headed back to Hiroshima, Japan, and I can't wait to show you even more things to do, see, and eat when you visit. Let's get into it. Today we'll be traveling with my dad to Hiroshima. We'll be meeting up with his friends who live there, and they'll be showing us around the first couple of days. Then the last few days, we'll be exploring on our own. The last time I visited Hiroshima, we took a quick day trip from Osaka. You can easily see major tourist destinations like the Peace Memorial Park and Museum and a few other places in a one-day itinerary. However, it was really nice to have the extra days to fully take in the breadth of what Hiroshima has to offer. I'll leave a link to my other Hiroshima vlog in the description box so you can watch it after this one. Our first stop after arriving in Hiroshima was to Miyajima Island. The island is probably most famous for the Great Tori Gate, which looks like it's floating in water. You can even walk right up to the gate when the tide is low. There are surprisingly lots of things you can do on the island. We only really scratch the surface of what you can see and do. One treat you must try when you visit Miyajima Island is the Momiji Manju, a maple leaf shaped cake with red bean paste or other fillings inside. It's best fresh when it's flaky and warm. The next day we drove two hours out to explore a neighboring city, Yamaguchi. Our first stop was to a Buddhist temple in Yamaguchi city known for a five-storied pagoda that's named a national treasure and is one of the three greatest pagodas in Japan. Unfortunately, the pagoda was undergoing renovations the day we visited. However, while we were taking pictures, one of the temple volunteers offered to give us a free walking tour of the grounds.
For lunch, we ate a Yamaguchi specialty called body soba, which are fried noodles topped with seasonal ingredients and a chicken based broth. Near the restaurant was a small area filled with other restaurants, bars, and cafes. We ended up going to a small hidden coffee shop that had a bar like feel. The hand dripped coffee was made with such precision and care. No photos or videos were allowed, so you'll have to stop by and experience it for yourself. Our last stop in Yamaguchi City was to a scenic Zen garden and temple. We got dinner at a newer seafood restaurant back in Hiroshima, where we filled our stomachs with orders of tempura, sashimi, sea bream soup, and more. The next day, my dad and I were on our own. We decided to venture out to Saijo, a small town known as the Sake capital. The city is located about 40 minutes from Hiroshima and is considered one of the three major sake brewing districts in Japan. Walking distance from the JR Saijo station are eight of Saijo's breweries where you can purchase sake and do a bit of sake tasting. For lunch, we ate at a restaurant run by a husband and wife that was located between the station and all the breweries. The food was made to order, and I definitely recommend it if you're in the area. All the different breweries right there, there, there. After eating, we went to a few more breweries before returning to Hiroshima City.
sweet brown sugar and This one is so good. So you get a book with it. That shows you all the different. So the one I just tried was. Not like that. Oh. I found a cute soba noodle shop for dinner within walking distance from Hiroshima Station. The noodles were extra thick and the tempura was battered and seasoned to perfection. We left our hotel early the next day to grab a locker for our luggage at the station. We got morning service at Hoshino's Coffee before heading out again for the last time in Hiroshima. Our Shinkansen didn't leave until later in the afternoon, so we rode the streetcar into the city and did a little shopping. I found a Sukimen shop for lunch that offered three different noodle types. We each got the pork set with regular noodles. The noodles were so good and very al dente. After lunch, we shopped more, grabbed coffee, and then made a final stop at Anderson's to grab food for the Shinkansen. Hiroshima has so much to offer, and I'm so glad I got to spend quality time here. If you'd like to see more things to do in Hiroshima, I recommend watching my second Japan with Friends vlog, where we go to Osaka and Hiroshima. This video ends my Spring 2023 Japan Travel Series chapter. However, when this video is released, I will be in the midst of filming yet another series of Japan travel videos. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications turned on so you know when new videos are available. Until next time.